Hello, this is James Pickles, Fasten Safeti product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use Safeti to get a breakdown of risk results into different population groups. Within Safeti, on the risk tab, you will see a folder called Population Categories. And by default, you will have these population categories defined. If you wish, you can rename these or you can insert additional categories and the way these categories can be used is on the population objects so if I insert a, a population object then on this object you have the ability to define a population category by default this will say none which will mean that you will not get a breakdown of your risk results into the different populations that you have um, but if you wanted that breakdown, you can assign a category to each of the population objects. And then what I have here is an example of this. So here in this study, I have a number of population objects. So here I've got four buildings and five outdoor populations. And then also in the population categories folder, I've created population category for each of my population objects. So if I take a look at this building population, you'll see here that I've used the building population A category, similarly for the outdoor populations here. For the outdoor population A object, I've used the outdoor population A category. You don't have to use the same names, you can use whatever names that you want. If you wish, you could have one category for buildings and one category for outdoor. Or you might want to have a category for site populations and a category for off-site populations. Um, but when you do this, you'll see in the risk results, you'll get a breakdown um, into the different categories. So if we take a look at the category PLL report, here we get the total PLL, but then we also get a breakdown of this total PLL into the different categories that have been defined. So here's the PLL for building population A category, and then here's the PLL for building population B category, and so on. It's similar in the FN results as well. So if you go to the FN details report, then you will see a breakdown of the FN data into the different categories. So if we just scroll across this report, you, you'll see here we have this column for the population category. So what this is telling us is in this particular scenario, we have 1.662 fatalities within outdoor population B. And then similarly, if we just scroll down, then we can see here that here's 0.02999 fatalities among outdoor population A within this particular scenario. Then if we export the FN results to Excel, like I've done here, then we can actually plot some FN curves for each population category. So on this worksheet here, that's what I've done. You'll see here we have an FN curve for each of the population categories. This can be particularly useful for looking at FN curves for sites populations and then also FN curves for off-site populations. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dnvgl.com.